We haven't got the record card, have we? <laughs> <sighs> As I said before, if think... only nature had 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 the sense to endow us with six limbs like bees have, yeah, we'd be able to carry more. True. While still walking on our back legs. How like the youth of today to let a poor old pensioner do all the heavy lifting. Oh, sorry, Roger. Well, he stands about fanning about with his camera. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Half a bit of smoke in the entrance. Oh, yes. Well, proper beekeeping today. There we go. Half, half. <laughs> Still got a bit of old propolis on the doings. This is proper beekeeping, isn't it? This is hygiene. Oh, yes. Nice so hygienic, I make myself ill. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not right. No, that's not right. So this top one was filling up pretty nicely, wasn't it, last time yep. we looked? It's filling up and capping pretty nicely now, too. Oh, wow. Even those newer, the newer ones. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So this is kind of um, what we were hoping for. Mm. So do you think this the, the flow is back on? We looked last night. There's loads of nectar, wasn't there, in the brood? Yeah, loads. As far as I know, it's 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 kept going. Um, mm. So I mean, that one is nearly well. It's over half capped. Yeah. Um, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a sticky moment in in the centre there. But I mean, that's that. Well, I mean, it, yeah. I don't. I don't believe. I don't think that that would be any problem to extract now. No. Um, although this is this is they're narrowing these. These are yeah, being capped. Aren't I they? mean, it's all. And this is a middle frame. So. And we put all the fuller ones to the outside, previously. So yeah. I mean, there. That's that's basically done. Mm. Is the other side the same? Uh, not quite. Not quite. No, they're not, I haven't quite got to that on so much. But uh, basically, what they've done is they've they've left they've left those cells a little bit shorter, presumably because they might be putting brood in them because they don't understand queen excluders and stuff. Right. So yeah. in a brood frame, they would build the outside out fatter longer cells deeper cells than than they would the brood cells yeah and uh then you know eventually they'll sort of draw the storage cells out to the full the full depth that they can between these two and some of these they've built bridges across too oh yeah especially keep, here yeah. keep the drafts out well you know i mean that's just what they do yeah um it's a nuisance for us beekeepers, but they're, they're not doing it for us, they're doing it for them. If we're not careful, we're going to tear the, the foundation out of here because it will be warm and soft. Yeah, we've torn a big hole in that. Oh, I see. Damn it. Uh, so I'm going to try and sort of shave that off with the hive tool. So is that, they've done that, what, because they don't like that bit of foundation, do you think? Or? Oh, hell. I don't know. I just sometimes they just do it. They, mm. you know, there doesn't appear to be any particular rhyme or reason to it. I think that's just a case of um, because it's stale foundation, they've kind of got it into their heads to do something different with it. Because I think it was partially drawn on one side, but not on this side. So mm. uh, that's kind of what they've done there. I mean, even this bit they've drawn as drone instead of worker. That I think is mostly worker, but there's oh, a bit yeah. of drone in the middle. Um, so, I mean, it was a wavy, stale sheet of foundation and they just um, made a bit of a... They've done their own thing. ...dog's breakfast of it, as far as we're concerned. To them, to their way of going on, it's perfectly fine. I'm just going to have to try and get the bees off that. Um, there's no point brushing bees off things like this because all you do is get the brush full of honey and then... Uh, you catch bees up in it and they can easily, quite easily drown. I mean, in this weather, with this sort of strength of a colony, I don't think it'd be particularly likely because their sisters will lick them clean, but it is surprisingly easy to drown bees with honey, which, you know, is a bit counterintuitive because it's something they, they deal with all the time. 
this one, this last one, I am actually going to take it out and just turn it round because they've done this side, but they don't appear to have done that side much. Interesting. Um, yeah. Except I can't see because, you know, it's dark in here. Yeah. Um, so this one I'm going to put in that space there. And that wedges that new one between the, the yeah. two drawn ones, doesn't it? That's right. So, I mean, they started that one and there's a little hole in it, but, you know, they might or might not repair that. It's all nice and clean and, and neat and they've filled the cells up yeah. as far as they can at the moment, but it will be nice if they drew them out just a little bit further. Right, so that can go in that way around and then I just judge it to be, from where they are now, about a, a B space down between the comb and the thing and the wall and hopefully I'll draw it all out to be even and straight along there. Right so we're now down to the brood chamber which is as you can see all nice new frames nice you know relatively new frames this season's frames all nice clean woodwork. Yeah, I do find I do find all this all this properly a bit of a oh yeah look at that a bit of a pain but you know these seem to be out of like the two big hives they seem to be the worst don't they mm. as you say some seem to do it more than others yeah it's 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 kind of a, a race of bee thing i think um i don't i don't know quite you know but i mean i have a lot of my bees are quite italian mm. um, and they don't seem to be that interested in gumming everything down my, my feeling about cardboard, I mean, I've tried all sorts of things from, you know, hessian and grass to all sorts of rubbish. Um, and, you know, basically I feel that wood is, is always the best. Mm. But uh, the smoke that you get with cardboard is really offensively acrid to me. I find the same, yeah. And uh, bees have a sense of smell that's probably 30,000 times more sensitive than ours so they must find it really offensive yeah um, and that has always sort of put me off using it because you know I wouldn't I, I don't like using it myself and they're far more um, affected by it than I ever am so why would I inflict something so obnoxious on them and again we've got a whole frame with a lot of empty cells yeah. And I can't see any eggs in it. Well, yeah. That's a new frame, so maybe I'm not that surprised. Um, I think this is one that we foundation we only put in last week. Well, there's the queen anyway, and she looks well fed and well full of eggs. Look at the size of her. Oh yeah. What would you say to the, about the queen's laying? I really don't know. I mm. mean, I don't see. I don't understand why there are some frames where it's basically all brood all over and then others where there's practically nothing um, mm. as I say sometimes I've noticed that they don't use new newly drawn cells straight away for brood yeah well we've got at least three frames in here that we've just put we only put in last week so they, yeah. you know, they will be basically brand new um, they've all been more or less drawn. I would imagine that over this past past week or so, there's been a lot of nectar coming in all day. So, as happens, they probably fill in cells with nectar that would yeah. normally be have be laid in. Yeah. Um, so they'd have brood in, and then you know overnight the nectar's gone. And if the queen doesn't get around to that one to lay it up before they start filling up again the following day and with the short nights yeah um maybe that's the that's what's happening i i don't really know but there doesn't appear to be any problem um we've got plenty of brood in here that is actually all nearly all worker um, which is what i would expect because it's this season's queen um she's only been in there what a month I suppose yeah. ish yeah um so she wouldn't be keen on having drones because no the theory is that 
they're probably not going to swarm so they won't need drones. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you say these things and the next thing you know, they've gone. Um, <laughs> you know, as in the nick of time comment a little while ago, and they swarmed the following day. Keep an eye on your colonies because they could very easily go hungry and starve. Yeah. Because while I don't believe there was any sort of a June gap in this particular district in June, there could very easily be a gap after the brambles stop yielding and before anything else comes along. Yeah. The, I mean, there are things that, that are that yield, but the question is about whether your bees will get them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there will be wildflowers, yes. Some of them produce pollen, but not very little nectar. Um, and uh, it can, hunger, you know, starvation can be a problem in that, because it's going to be about two months before the next really big flow, which is going to be the ivy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that one away because it's basically pretty bloody horrible. Yeah. Um, so I'll take that and melt it. There's a little bit of nectar in it, but not a lot. The bees aren't keen on using it either, obviously. Anyway, so this nuke, uh, there appear to be quite a lot of bees in it. Um, in this nucleus box. We donated um, some frames, the old frames of the WBC last time. Uh, yeah, that's right, we did, didn't we? Um, so they was probably, you know, the source of a lot of this sealed brood that's now emerging. But we've got a lot, a lot of pollen. This is sort of all more or less brownish grey, which I would say is probably brambles. Mm. Uh, yeah. There is a bit of yellowy stuff in there as well. I don't know where they're getting that from. Possibly, again, the lime trees, but it uh, appears to be all mixed. Uh, that one is more you know, in, in, oh, separate, in separate dollops. And there's the queen. She's a bit of a, a bit lively. Mm. Um, is she laying any eggs? Mm. She's big-ish. She looks she's like she's, she's not she's done odd, obviously well fed as that other one was, no. but uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see. Mm. What we've got here, we've got young larvae, so I would say the queen's laying. Come on you idle little herberts, where are you? Why aren't you up here? Was this one actually producing a new queen? I can't remember. Yeah, last time we didn't see her but I think we saw cells being polished but ah. looks like there's quite a bit of stores down in the in the brood and well there was poppies. there was last week yeah. a lot of stores in there but I mean that's why we thought we'd better put another super on yeah. but they're not putting it in there are they yeah. which kind of Makes me wonder if maybe the queen's got lost. Mm. Again, the same thing. A lot of sealed stores mm. near the top. A lot of nectar in there. A few cells that are empty. Mm. Right, I don't, I don't know. Oh, the same thing on the next one. If we find there is no queen or no sign of a queen in here, then they will be more or less irredeemably queenless because they've got no eggs or brood to produce a new queen from. So we then have the thing of, do we put in a frame of eggs from the other colony or do we put a queen in? I think we, at this time of year we'd better put a queen in. We really do want them to need to move all this food into the supers. Right, so this uh, at the moment, it's looking queenless. Well, it's looking pretty well queenless. Now, it may just be that the queen hasn't mated yet, because sometimes for, with a strong, a lot of lot of bees in the colony, sometimes the queens take longer to mate, to go out and mate. Um, don't really know why that is. 
maybe it just takes them longer to check there's no rivals and there again we've got just all food really um, hmm. that doesn't look as though that's a frame of foundation that hasn't been there very long um, I don't remember when we put it in it might be last week even there's a couple of queen cups already on this side uh, with nothing in them so yeah this is looking um, a bit uh, a bit doubtful over you know queen rightness there's eggs in there isn't there i think there's eggs in there so she's yeah she's here eggs and young larvae in there again so yeah she's definitely she's about we have a queen so it's a case of i mean now i'm going to manipulate them into hopefully making space down here for the queen to lay by shifting food up there so that one which is the new one can come out of there so it's moving the brood sort of further forwards yeah so we've got brood on those two frames so we move those a little bit forwards and then put that in there so i would expect there to be possibly the queen and some eggs on this one the next one out so that's just making it more putting the brood nest more centrally in the box yeah trying to even things up um, I'm also going to run my hive tool over that proud food there so I need to clear the bees off that it kind of gives them the get up and go that they need to get on with stuff and straighten things out because you know you don't want them cones with an inch and a half of really fat comb at the top because it means means that you can't swizzle them around anywhere else they've got to go in that same position with a yeah basically a frame of foundation in between them so having done that we now push the cell the frames together and there's actually not a gap all the way through there but the bees will make one yeah i mean because they want a bee space between there they will want a bee space between there so they can get up and get on with things so again that's a manipulation takes it out of the rails of merely inspecting it does it's trying to persuade the bees to do what we want them to do rather than carry on with what they've done already and not to improve the situation oh there's the queen about a third of the way down coming towards yeah. me there yeah very um very new queenish rushing about of it and thinking oh i don't like that light oh turn that <laughs> light out oh, oh, oh get my head down oh, oh. uh probably calm down a huge amount even between now and next week mm. um well, she looked a good size she looked a good size she was well fed um and the bees are quite happy with her it seems the bees appear to be quite happy with her we're finished and we're done